So the body needs to be detailed as well. I'm going to use that same technique that I did on the ears. Slowish technique, but I don't need to be as accurate. I need the body to blur out slightly. So this is real time. So you can see I'm not going too slow. This is the dark areas, these are all the little creases, and I'll come back in then with the mid-tone and the highlights, just like I did on the head, the forehead, and layer those lighter tones on, and I'm going to make it all slightly blurry as this receding back in the, in the scene. Add in the highlight now in this section I'll go quite fast you see I'm using that pit pencil pit pastel pencil it's not very sharp so I want quite large marks so you can see I'm pretty much like Kind of like going in between those creases that I've just drawn on. Keeping everything quite random as well. I'm not really following the reference photo much at all. What I'm following or trying to create is the impression of those marks that I can see on the reference. The only main elements I need to get in there are the large um, creases. All the little ones are irrelevant to get right because on a different elephant they'd all be in a different place anyway. <laughs> 